Cyber attacks are no longer just launched by hackers. In 2025, AI agents, autonomous systems that can plan, adapt, and execute, have started breaching real-world systems, and cybersecurity isn't ready. A confirmed case from late 2024 showed AI agents independently targeting what looked like government servers without any human involvement. In this video, we break down how these AI agents operate, what experts are now witnessing in the wild, and why defenses are struggling to keep up. Let's dive in. The rise of AI agents that can act. AI agents are no longer just theoretical tools in research labs. These are systems that go far beyond generating text or answering prompts. They can take actions on your behalf, navigating interfaces, adjusting settings, opening files, and executing tasks autonomously. Unlike traditional chatbots or scripted automation, AI agents are built on large language models but paired with tool use capabilities and reasoning frameworks. That means they don't just respond, they plan. They can adapt in real time, figure out steps to complete a complex task, and even recover from failed actions. As of early 2025, tools like OpenAI's AutoGPT, Google's Gemini-based agents, and Anthropic's Claude agents are demonstrating the ability to operate across systems. These aren't public tools for hacking, but researchers have shown that the same abilities can be redirected. In fact, Anthropic has already documented an internal test where Claude replicated a sensitive data exfiltration attack when prompted with a specific scenario without prior training on that task. Security expert Mark Stockley from Malwarebytes recently said, I think ultimately we're going to live in a world where the majority of cyber attacks are carried out by agents. It's really only a question of how quickly we get there. The tools are here, the capabilities are evolving, and the line between automation and autonomous hacking is blurring fast. Why cybersecurity experts are sounding the alarm? AI agents offer something cyber criminals have never had before, scale, speed, and autonomy. A single human hacker might take hours or days to identify a vulnerability and craft an exploit. An AI agent, once configured, can do this in seconds, repeatedly and at scale. Ransomware attacks, for instance, have traditionally required a high level of manual effort, but AI agents could change that. If target selection and initial access are delegated to autonomous agents, it's no longer a high-skill operation. As Stockley noted in Malwarebytes' 2025 State of Malware report, once an agent successfully completes an attack, Replicating it hundreds of times becomes a matter of computing power and infrastructure, not expertise. This is why the cybersecurity field is shifting its focus. It's no longer just about preventing known threats. It's about preparing for adversaries that learn and adapt on the fly. Traditional defenses like static firewalls, signature-based antivirus software, and manual audits aren't equipped to detect autonomous decision-making or evolving attack patterns. And that's not a hypothetical concern. In the last six months, cyber forensics teams have started detecting behavior patterns that don't match known malware families or botnets, scripts that deviate, explore alternatives, and don't follow predictable logic. These patterns are raising red flags. Real world proof AI agents are already hacking. In October 2024, a team at Palisade Research launched what they called the LLM Agent Honeypot, a system designed to simulate sensitive targets and observe how various intrusions behave. Within a few months, the honeypot recorded over 11 million access attempts. Most of these were bots or curious humans, but eight of those attempts were different. Two were confirmed to be AI agents. How did they know? The researchers embedded prompt injection tests into the system, requests that would only make sense to an intelligent agent. For example, one test asked intruders to return a specific phrase CAT8193. If the request was fulfilled within 1.5 seconds, a typical LLM response time, it flagged as likely AI generated. Two agents from IPs based in Hong Kong and Singapore passed both tests. While the origin and purpose of those agents remain unknown, the researchers believe they were manually deployed by humans with exploratory goals, likely reconnaissance. But the fact that agents are out in the wild Scanning and interacting with vulnerable infrastructure is significant. According to Dmitry Volkov, research lead at Palisade, we're looking out for a sharp uptick, and when that happens, we'll know the security landscape has changed. 
Palisade plans to expand the Honeypot project across platforms, social media, open databases, and even phishing trap domains to monitor broader AI agent behavior. The goal is to create early warning systems before these agents start executing complex attacks on their own. What makes agents so much more dangerous than bots? Traditional bots are limited. They follow pre-written scripts, execute fixed instructions, and fail if the environment changes. For example, if a login page adds an extra step or changes a button's name, a bot breaks. That's what has made traditional cybersecurity defenses fairly effective against bot-driven attacks until now. AI agents, on the other hand, are built to reason. They can interpret web layouts, understand changes in form structure, and find alternative routes to achieve the same goal. If step A fails, they try step B. They don't crash, they improvise. Dmitry Volkov explained that agents can analyze a system and predict the best entry points, something dumb bots can't do. He said, they can look at a target and guess the best ways to penetrate it. That level of autonomy makes detection extremely difficult. You're not watching for a specific tool, you're watching for intelligent behavior, which can look different every time. Moreover, these agents can be instructed to avoid honeypots, change digital fingerprints, or delay responses to mimic human timing, all tactics that make them more evasive. And unlike human hackers, they don't get tired, don't need payment up front, and can operate around the clock from virtual machines spread across different geographies. This adaptability is what gives AI agents a fundamentally different threat profile. They're not just running attacks, they're learning, optimizing, and evolving each time they interact with a new system. And that makes them harder to stop with traditional cybersecurity methods. The coming explosion in AI-powered cybercrime. There are two paths experts believe AI-powered cyber attacks could take. The first is gradual. In this scenario, agents begin with reconnaissance, scanning open ports, probing web apps and learning system behaviors. From there, they progress to simple attacks like credential stuffing or data scraping. Over time, as their reasoning and coordination improve, they may be able to complete full attack chains autonomously from entry to execution to exfiltration. But the second possibility is much faster. In this version, someone open sources a powerful AI agent designed for hacking. It spreads through dark web forms or encrypted channels, allowing low-skill actors to deploy high-skill attacks. At that point, cybercrime isn't just scalable, it becomes democratized. Vincenzo Ciancalini, senior threat researcher at Trend Micro, describes the current state as even more of a Wild West than LLMs were two years ago. There are no guardrails and few defenses are prepared for fully autonomous attacks. And that's the core concern. Nobody knows if this goes slow or explodes tomorrow. Either path leads to disruption, but one gives defenders time, the other doesn't. How AI is already exploiting unknown vulnerabilities. A recent benchmark study from the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign tested whether AI agents could exploit real-world software vulnerabilities without prior exposure or specific training. The results were unexpected. Led by assistant professor Daniel Kong, the team evaluated how well autonomous agents could identify and take advantage of flaws in code. Without any hints, agents successfully exploited 13% of vulnerabilities. When given just a brief, high-level description of the flaw, that success rate jumped to 25%. These were not recycled examples or datasets from training. The agents were operating in new environments, learning on the spot. Basic bots, which follow rigid scripts, would likely fail in nearly all of these scenarios, upwards of 99%. This benchmark shows that AI agents are already operating at a level far beyond traditional automation. They don't need detailed blueprints. They can assess, reason, and execute based on minimal input sometimes outperforming human penetration testers in terms of speed and adaptability. It confirms that these systems aren't just capable of finding doors left open. They can find doors no one knew existed. Can AI defend as well as it attacks? Not all AI agents are malicious. Some are being developed to act as defenders, autonomously scanning systems for weak points before attackers do. The logic is straightforward. If your own agent can't find a vulnerability, it's less likely that an external one will. Eduardo De Benedetti, a PhD researcher at ETH Zurich, summarized this mindset well. 
If a friendly agent can't find a vulnerability, a malicious one probably can't either. This could lead to a future where organizations run internal agent tests regularly, much like how antivirus scans or vulnerability assessments are done today, but far more thorough and adaptive. However, there's a problem. Defensive AI is reactive by nature. It scans and patches. But offensive agents evolve. They test, iterate, and adjust. That pace of evolution gives attackers an edge, at least for now. As Chris Betts, Chief Information Security Officer at Amazon Web Services put it, AI is more of an accelerant to existing attack techniques than something that fundamentally changes the nature of attacks. But as those techniques evolve, the pressure on defenders to keep up grows exponentially. What happens next? Right now, AI agents haven't launched mass-scale cyber attacks, but they are exploring the boundaries. They're probing systems, interacting with vulnerable servers, and in some cases, executing basic operations that could easily escalate. Dmitry Volkov, research lead at Palisade Research, described the near future clearly. I expect to see autonomous hacking agents being told, this is your target, go and hack it. That level of intent, when combined with the capabilities we're already seeing, could trigger a shift in how cybersecurity is approached worldwide. Most existing infrastructure, from corporate networks to small business websites, was not designed to defend against intelligent intrusions that adapt in real time. Security policies, legacy systems, and perimeter defenses weren't built with autonomous agents in mind. Efforts like Kang's benchmarking tools and Palisade's honeypots represent early steps toward building detection and resilience, but they're diagnostic, not solutions. Right now, we're in a narrow window, a moment of awareness before acceleration. If these agents scale faster than the defenses built to stop them, the balance could tip quickly. This may be the last calm moment before the next cybersecurity era begins.